Seems like everybody is collecting data on you, including now we find out your Ford Motor Vehicle. This was from the Consumer Electronics Show. They had a privacy panel. And the executive, who is actually a sales and marketing executive, you can believe this, said, we know everyone who breaks the law. We know when you're doing it. We have GPS in your car, so we know what you're doing. By the way, we don't supply that data to anyone. Do you really believe that? I mean, here <laughs> this guy comes across like he's, I guess he sounds enough like Santa Claus that you're still going to buy his cars. That's not really anything to brag about. I don't know if they're manufacturing cars or if they're trying to manufacture consent. Are they working like everybody else to collect information? Because that information that's being stored now, that he's bragging about your vehicle storing on you, is something that will easily be turned over whenever the government asks for it. A third party like Ford Motor Company is not going to protect your privacy. They have no interest in protecting your privacy. When the government threatens them or even politely asks them, they will, to curry favor with the government or to avoid penalties, turn over anything and everything they have on you. And that means that they're going to use that to tax you. They're going to use it to harass you. They're going to use it as a pretense to raise your insurance rates to the points where you're not going to be able to drive anymore. You're going to have to have a self-driving new brand new car from Ford Motor Company because otherwise it's going to be too expensive and all the traffic tickets that you get. Now this kind of reminds me of a phrase. They sent out swarms of officers to harass our people and eat out their substance. Remember where that came from? That was from the Declaration of Independence. It looks like today what's happening and it looks like we need another declaration of independence now in more nsa news if you remember larry clayman had an impressive win at a court we had an honest judge district judge leon ruled that the nsa was in fact violating the fourth amendment and anybody who reads the fourth amendment knows that they're violating that fourth amendment the government very quickly came out with another district judge who contravened that decision, came up with a contradictory decision on that to kind of check that. And now they've taken it one step further. The Obama administration has filed a motion with Judge Leon, who said that this was against the Fourth Amendment, to stay any discovery that Larry Clayman might get by looking at NSA documents. And this is what they said. Even if the mere collection of information about plaintiff's communications constitutes a Fourth Amendment search, Conclusively resolving the reasonableness of that search ultimately could risk or require disclosure of exceptionally sensitive and classified intelligence information regarding the nature and scope of the international terrorist threat to the United States and the role of the NSA's intelligence gathering activities have played meeting that threat. Well, look at the very beginning of that. They say even if the mere collection of information, that's what the Fourth Amendment is there to keep from happening, is to make sure that you are going to be have privacy in your person, in your place, in, in your papers. Look at the definition of what unreasonable is. You know, we see these words change over centuries, over decades, whatever. We see that they gradually migrate. What is now considered to be unreasonable, the definition is something like not fair or inappropriate, you know, burdensome, something like that. But I think it really clearly means that they don't have a reason. If you look at the text, they have clauses there. Look at the definition of reason. Reason means that you have a cause, an explanation, or a justification for an action or event. And that's what the Fourth Amendment is saying. It says you will not have unreasonable searches. In other words, you won't have a search without a cause. Why? Because they say you have to have probable cause. And they say that you won't have it without justification or explanation. Why? Because it says it has to be supported by an oath or affirmation particularly describing the place to be searched. In other words, you have to have a reason to search it, you have to explain it, and there are limitations on what you can search, what you can grab, what you can collect. They play these word games with us, and we need to not let them continue to do that. Even to the extent that when William Benny talked to us, he said that they consider that it's not information that they've collected unless an NSA officer actually looks at it. So they can collect and store that information, and then they can pass it on to the FBI or Homeland Security they don't consider that information to have been collected, even though they were the ones who collected, they were the ones who stored it, they were the ones who passed it on. So they play these semantic games with us. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% made in America line of incredible 
pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty.